Hi Chapel Hill Artists, it's Mrs. Sweeney here on Monday, April 13th. I've got some ideas for you to engage with art at home. Uh, first one I want to talk to you about is a really fun idea that you can do at home, maybe with your pet, maybe with your siblings, or just in your house. I don't know if you've seen on um, the Getty Institute, there's a photo challenge for um, anybody to take a master's piece of artwork. I'm working with a Vincent van Gogh self-portrait and then recreate it at your house. So me and Rory, uh, we're working on creating Vincent van Gogh's self-portrait where his ears bandaged up. He's got that kind of Russian hat. So I went digging and I found the hat. We found some scarf to make a bandage. Maybe this one works better too. I've got a green coat. And um, we took a fun picture of Rory trying to be like Vincent van Gogh, the self-portrait. So mm -hmm. it's a really fun challenge that you can do with any piece of art. I'm going to post it on, my, um, on, on the team so you can see this one and then maybe I'll put a challenge up for you to try too. Let's come over here, I wanna show you something that you can do, um, just a drawing challenge. Um, some of my uh, 2D students or even in fifth grade, excuse me, fourth grade, we did this um, and this is just a great way to challenge your drawing skills. So I just found a picture from a magazine, got a cool looking Jeep and I cut it in half. You could cut it this way or this way. And then what you do is you flip one side up and you try to draw the missing side. I did trace around the object so I had a good placement for everything, but then I tried to challenge myself to draw all the interior lines for this Jeep um, by hand. Another idea is just to try and um, do it, uh, do the whole thing down in the bottom. Um, markers work great, just even a pencil, colored pencils, Really anything that you have at home um, would work for this. This is just a great drawing challenge and you can do it with any picture that you want. Let's go over to the hallway and I wanna show you a fun way to connect with some architecture. Um, my architecture kids might enjoy this because we've been talking a little bit about space. And um, here's a fun challenge that you can do. Of course, you need to ask your parents if this is okay to do in the house and for sure do it with this blue painter's tape. This is easy release tape made for painting. Don't do it with masking tape, don't do it with duct tape, it's gonna pull the paint off the wall, bad news. Um, here's how it goes, you, um, you just pick a point, I like to do it kinda eye level, and then I just taped a box around it, and then with the blue tape, you're going to um, make vanishing lines off the corners of the square, and you're always going to use this point to vanish everything that you do to this. So for instance, I, I just kind of eyeballed it, but I made this window. I can make another window over here and I have to, maybe with a yardstick or just eyeballing, it always vanishes off to that point. It's called one point perspective. Um, and you can make a very elaborate scene here with windows and doors. Again, everything relates to the one point in the middle. Um, as you start to maybe build some, even some furniture um, into your space, you always, you always want to remember that they have a point. It'll connect to a point in the plane on the bottom. So this table is um, meant to look like it's projecting off the back wall. This is sort of supposed to be a couch and it needs to come out from the wall. It's not flat, it has, it has space. So consider this whole space on the wall, um, the, creating the illusion of um, dimension. So that's one idea. Hello Cole. Come on over Hi. here. Um, I have a really neat challenge. Um, my sister-in-law Jennifer actually made these for our whole family. I don't know if you've seen the um, patterns for the masks that you can make at home. Um, I think the hardest thing to find is this um, elastic but I've seen it done with even hair ties. Um, she just brought over uh, like seven masks for our family to wear and they're just really fun. Um, and I'm going to start wearing that because I think it's really something that we should start doing um, as we keep moving forward with this whole thing. And then lastly, I've got a fun cardboard challenge. And if you're in my 3D class, you're familiar with this project. Um, I'm going to post some finished 3D projects that the kids did um, that turned out fantastic. So really, with any picture, and it works best with a, a picture of a person, a portrait. I have a picture of um, Tatum that I'm using here that I printed off the computer. That works too. Um, but even a magazine picture, you just cut out the image. And then um, what you do is you just start cutting the pieces apart. You want to separate the torso from the arms and the hair from the head. So I've kind of cut 
all these pieces apart. And then what I did is I have traced, oh, pardon me, I, let me take that back. I, I started before I cut it out, my bad. I traced two layers of the whole portrait. So I did two layers, you can kind of see it here, two layers thick. And then I started to um, pull apart all the pieces of this, like a puzzle. So here's her shirt, here's her head, and I cut each piece out of cardboard. This is a box that came from um, Amazon uh, just yesterday, so I'm just using stuff around the house. The really great thing about cardboard is if you spray one of the sides, you can peel back and see that really cool corrugated pattern, so that was great texture to use for um, Tatum's hair. So I'm just building up this three-dimensional or relief sculpture um, with cardboard. I'm, I could probably finish her face with a pencil or I could, I could even do every little piece in cardboard too. Um, 3D students made some awesome, awesome examples and I'm gonna post some on the teams um, today. Another fun thing, just for when you sit down maybe and you've got some time with your family, at the end of the day, you could even just take some of these pieces of cardboard, turn them into shapes, and then I just cut slits on all four sides. This is something anybody can do, um, even little, you know, little siblings, and you just start turning it into a sculpture. So that's a fun way to just use cardboard. You can just keep it out in a spot where it's okay to sit out, and then every time you come by, just add a couple pieces and see how big you can make it. Maybe it's gonna look like something. Maybe it's just abstract. Lastly, I just wanna check in with you and make sure um, you're taking care of your grown-ups and being kind to them, being supportive and positive. This is a hard time and it's hard for the grown-ups, it's hard for everybody, and I think you have a huge role to play with your family and especially your grown-ups. And I'm um, just praying for them, um, being positive, thinking of maybe a family poster, that was a good addition back there. Think of a family poster that you could make. Um, Sweeties, we kind of have some funny little sayings related to baseball, like, you got it, or game ain't over until it's over, something like that. Just take a family saying and turn it into a poster. That's all for now. I'll have some more things maybe later this week or next week. Hope you're doing well. Thank you.